The following video is intended for mature audiences. It contains horror elements, adult themes, and language that might not be suitable for younger viewers. In the vast, chilling landscape of horror films, Norman Bates stands out as a character who has left a deep, haunting mark. As the main antagonist in Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho and its sequels, Bates is fundamental to the evolution of the horror genre. His terror doesn't come from monstrous creatures or paranormal beings, but arises from an unnerving reality of mental instability. Norman Bates embodies the fear of losing mental stability. A man who is both victim and villain, shaped by his traumatic past and split identity. As portrayed by Anthony Perkins in the original Psycho and later films, Norman is quiet, introverted, and surprisingly polite. However, underneath this exterior hides a more disturbing personality, driven by guilt, suppression, and a harmful connection to his controlling mother. Norman's descent into madness, his alarming dual nature, and the harsh consequences of his broken psyche place him among the most complex and threatening characters in horror. Through his story arc, Psycho delves into themes of identity, control, and the destructive aftermath of abuse. This video will delve deeply into Norman Bates's psychology, his early life, along with the traumatic events that shaped him, the symbolic significance of his actions, and the social commentary embedded within his story arc. Norman Bates is more than just a killer, he represents how delicate human sanity can be and how terror can arise from unexpected places. Norman Bates is one of history's most psychologically complex characters in horror cinema. His terror lies in the dual nature that defines him. A dissociative identity disorder, or split personality, is at the heart of Norman's character. This condition comes from trauma experienced during early life stages manifesting itself through alternating personas, one being himself, gentle, unassuming Norman, another being mother, his controlling, malicious side. Norman's disorder traces back to his unhealthy relationship with his mother, Norma Bates. After his father died when he was young, he was left entirely in the care of his controlling mother. She fostered a harmful, isolated relationship, leaving no room for Norman to develop a healthy self-identity. Norma dominated every aspect of his life, instilling an intense fear of abandonment and an unnatural attachment to her. When Norma started seeing another man, Norman's fragile psyche couldn't handle the perceived betrayal, leading him to kill both his mother and her lover in a fit of jealousy and rage. After his mother's murder, Norman's mind split into two personalities, Norman, the obedient son, and mother, the harsh, possessive figure who remains within him. This dissociation allows Norman to deny personal guilt by mentally attributing violent acts to his mother persona. Unaware consciously of the murders he commits while under mother's influence, he genuinely believes that it is she who is responsible for these deaths, not him. This dual personality aspect adds additional horror to Norman's character as audiences witness a man transform into both victim and perpetrator at once. The power of this psychological portrayal comes from its basis in real psychological disorders though exaggerated for cinematic effect. Norman Bates embodies the fear associated with losing control over one's sanity, of being trapped within a broken psyche where reality and delusion continually overlap. His struggle to reconcile feelings of guilt and longing for his deceased mother leads to an internal conflict with disastrous results for those unfortunate enough to encounter him. The psychological decline of Norman Bates portrayed in the 1983 film Psycho 2 and the 1987 TV movie Bates Motel, originates from his childhood. Raised under the harsh rule of his mother, Norma Bates, her influence played a crucial role in the mental distress that shaped him. His youth was marked by emotional abuse, isolation, and an unhealthy relationship with his mother. Norma Bates was a dominating presence who isolated her son from external influences, this fostered a codependent relationship that stunted Norman's emotional and psychological development. She instilled fear in him toward women and intimacy outside their relationship, creating a skewed perspective that left Norman unable to form healthy attachments.
when Norma starts a romantic relationship with another man, Norman sees it as a deep betrayal. His mother's attention had always been solely on him, but now it was divided. This sparked intense jealousy within Norman, leading to him poisoning both his mother and her lover, an act which initiated his mental breakdown. Unable to accept what he'd done, he preserved his mother's body in an elaborate fantasy where she continued to exist within him. This traumatic event, combined with his already unstable mind, led to the creation of the mother personality within him, a persona embodying all negative traits associated with his mother, jealousy, control, and hatred toward anyone who threatened their bond. Whenever threatened or attracted to someone else, Mother would take control, committing violent acts to protect Norman from perceived threats. Norman's life path is largely shaped by this toxic relationship with his mother, an unsettling depiction of parental control gone wrong. It highlights how harmful parental influence can persist beyond death and continue to dominate one's life. The transformation from an abused child into a murderer illustrates how unresolved trauma can manifest in terrifying ways. Norman Bates is a character filled with symbolic meaning. His dual personality reflects wider themes of repression, guilt, societal norms versus personal desires. Central to his character is the struggle between his own identity and the overpowering influence of his mother. Mother is a powerful symbol in Psycho. She embodies extreme parental control, repression of desire, and fear of sexuality. She's not just a character. She represents Norman's internal guilt and shame, particularly about his sexuality. His violent tendencies often emerge when he feels attracted to someone else, with mother intervening to eliminate the perceived threat. The Bates House also carries significant symbolic value. It serves as a physical embodiment of Norman's mind, a labyrinth filled with hidden secrets and suppressed traumas. The upper floors where Norma's room is located represent her dominance in his psyche while the basement where he hides her body symbolizes repressed memories that he keeps hidden. Norman's interest in taxidermy reveals his inability to let go of the past and his fixation on preservation. Similar to how he stuffs and preserves dead animals, he tries to maintain his mother's influence over him in an unsettling way. The shower scene is another critical moment filled with symbolism. Marion Crane's murder represents the violent clash between Norman's repressed desires and internalized guilt. This scene clearly shows how Norman's mind works. His struggle to reconcile desires with guilt results in violent episodes, with Mother acting as both protector and punisher. Norman Bates' story is a significant piece in psychological horror, providing a sharp critique of societal fears and anxieties. Premiering in 1960, Psycho came about during a tumultuous time in American culture. The post-war era had brought newfound freedom, particularly for women, and traditional family roles were under scrutiny. Psycho skillfully taps into these insecurities, especially those related to the breakdown of the family structure and the rise of individualism. Norman Bates represents a warped version of the idealized family dynamic. His strong attachment to his mother and his battle to establish his own identity exposes an eerie take on the Oedipal complex. Rather than aspiring to replace his father, Norman becomes his mother, both metaphorically and literally. This distorted relationship highlights societal worries about excessive parental influence and the consequences of emotional suppression. The film also reflects societal concerns about sexual liberation. Marion Crane's actions, stealing money and running away with her lover, mark a shift from traditional gender roles and societal expectations. She embodies the growing wave of female independence, chasing her desires without adhering to her era's moral boundaries. Her decision to stay overnight at Bates Motel stems directly from this defiance, a choice that makes her subsequent death in the infamous shower scene even more horrifying. Marion's murder is more than just an act of violence. It signifies punishment for her defiance, casting a harsh light on the conservative backlash against women asserting their independence. In this context, Psycho criticizes the repression of individuality and sexual desire by suggesting such suppression can lead to violence. Norman Bates serves as a warning, a symbol showing what happens when people are denied their right to grow, change, 
and accept their unique identities due to stunted emotional development or inability to separate from their parents. At the same time, Norman's actions echo wider cultural fears about what lies beneath ordinary appearances. On the surface, Norman seems perfectly normal, polite, soft-spoken, and unassuming. But beneath this exterior of normality hides a world of horror. Norman's hidden madness and the dark secrets within the Bates house echo societal fear that something sinister could be hiding under the surface of everyday life. This fear of the ordinary recurs throughout Psycho. Hitchcock purposely chose an average, relatable character in Norman to create unease. Audiences are lulled into a false sense of security by Norman's mild-mannered demeanor, only to be shocked when his true horrifying nature is revealed. Norman Bates's duality, being both the boy next door and a brutal killer, cements his place in horror history. Unlike many other horror villains driven by supernatural forces or pure evil, Norman's actions stem from psychological trauma, making him all the more terrifying. Norman isn't your typical monster. He's a man whose mind has been broken by abuse and suppression. A man whose love for his mother has twisted into something grotesque and deadly. One of the most disturbing aspects of Norman's character is his ability to hide his insanity behind a facade of normality. He isn't your traditional silent brute like Michael Myers or cruel mastermind like Jigsaw. He's quiet and unassuming until Mother takes control. This unpredictability makes Norman a symbol of intense psychological horror. The audience never knows when or how this switch will happen, creating an atmosphere of constant tension and dread. Unlike characters driven by external forces, Norman's terror comes from within. He embodies both villain and victim, trapped in an endless battle with his own psyche. This internal struggle adds complexity to his character, turning him from a one-dimensional murderer into a tragic figure, one who is both pitiful and terrifying, and whose actions are driven by a distorted need for love and approval. Norman Bates, the notorious figure from Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, has left an enduring impact on horror cinema. His complex psychological profile and the themes it embodies, repression, identity, and parental control, have echoed in many films and characters that followed. Characters like Patrick Bateman from American Psycho and Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs owe much to Norman Bates. They similarly explore the tension between outward normality and hidden inner darkness. Psycho did more than just influence how horror villains were depicted. It laid down a template for what would later become known as the slasher genre. This genre dominated horror cinema in the 1970s and 1980s. While Psycho isn't a typical slasher film, it introduced several elements that would become hallmarks of this genre, including isolated settings, unsuspecting victims, and abrupt acts of severe violence. Norman Bates's seemingly harmless demeanor and kitchen knife set a precedent for characters like Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and Freddy Krueger. These characters became iconic figures in the slasher genre. However, what sets Norman apart is his humanity. Unlike Michael Myers or Jason Voorhees, who are often portrayed as relentless evil forces verging on supernatural, Norman Bates is fundamentally human. His actions stem not from otherworldly malice, but from a mind fractured by trauma and suppression. Even after decades since his first appearance in Psycho, Norman Bates continues to loom large over our shared imagination. The fear he represents is not external, but internal. His dual identity, tragic history, and psychological intricacy make him one of the most fascinating yet terrifying figures in horror cinema. What makes Norman truly terrifying isn't just his violent acts, but their underlying motivations. He's not a senseless killer or an alien being. He's a man broken by trauma with an unhealthy attachment to his mother. Norman's story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of repression, the long-term effects of abuse, and the fragility of the human mind. In horror cinema, Norman Bates is a symbol of ultimate fear, not fear of monsters or ghosts, but fear of our internal darkness. He reminds us that our minds with their potential for violence and insanity can be the scariest things we face. As long as issues around identity, control, and mental health persist, Norman Bates will maintain his place in horror cinema. 
he embodies the terror linked to a fragmented self and the disastrous results of unresolved trauma. His legacy in the horror genre is defined by psychological depth, symbolic importance, and a chilling reminder that sometimes the most terrifying monsters are those within us. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching.